Ryan Nielsen is our new defensive coordinator. He spoke for the first time today, and we're going to play more of this throughout the course of the afternoon because I want you to get a feel of what we're getting. But one of the things he talked about today was passion, and I love this because it's overlooked. And I'll use an example here in just a second. But when he talked about passion, he said it's a passion for football, a passion for the game, a passion for the Atlanta Falcons. He says, that's who I am. Football is in me. It's what I do. It's, it's what I've always wanted to do. But the passion for the game, the energy and the excitement, not just for the games, wait for it, but for the practices. Aha. Uh-huh. Just watching a couple players in the weight room or whatever, just walking by, not even knowing them. That's awesome. That's the stuff I love. So, Mike, he loves the process. If you get enough guys that love that, you're going to be good. If you get enough guys on defense that love that, you're going to be good. Remember a guy that we drafted high, Mike, who didn't have that in him, whose career ended pretty quickly? Yeah, it's Vic Beasley. And uh, there's a couple. But, I mean, is that the right one? That's the right one. (laughs) You could have taken three or four guys we drafted high. But Vic Beasley's passion for football was admittedly, we later found out, not there. And in this case, you got a guy can work with these dudes. Chuck Smith, everybody hears Chuck Smith on with us twice a week. Go, man, I wish Chuck could just coach for the Falcons. Well, Chuck makes more money doing what he does working on guys for the draft. But – that's what if this guy can build and get these guys on his game plan and develop the talent the way he did with the Saints. All right, it's a good hire. Look, yes, Wilkes was a name brand, Flores was a name brand, Fangio was a name brand, but this guy might be just the guy. So I, I like what I'm hearing so far. Let's hear what he said about what this defense is going to look like. This is Ryan Nielsen, the new defensive coordinator for our Falcons. Well, we'll see. I mean, I don't want to give too much away. Um, again, they've done some good things here and some of the places that myself and other coaches have been have done some good things. And so we're just going to marry, you know, what we've all done. And again, it's going to be the best Falcon defense, you know, what's best for these players and, and take it out on the grass and then implement it when we get into games. So he's not trying to kill Dean Pease, nor right. should he. Um, and, and that would be completely. And Dean did a hell of a job. Yeah, completely disrespectful. So he's saying, yeah, we'll, we'll do what they were doing best. And I'm going to add to it. But Mike, what he didn't say is, are we three, four, four, three? What are we running? Ryan? So he was, hmm. and today, by the way, he was, they said at this presser, he was kind of avoiding it and having fun with it in a good way. Not as if he doesn't know. He, of course he knows. But, you know, what, what's this front going to look like? Because, Mike, that's going to dictate what you want to do in the draft. If you are going to want more linebackers or you're going to want more edge rushers, right, it's going to depend on which way you're going to be leaning in this draft, maybe with that number eight overall pick. Right. I mean, you know, guys, there's, if, you, if you're doing 3-4, you want more of a Richard Seymour. If you're going 4-3, you know, then you want a guy, you know, that would look like, you know, I mean, look, look like Lorenzo Carter, but you got to play better. But, I mean, you got guys, different types of players, different types of bodies. We want a big body regardless, a big tackle next to Grady. But you're right. Then all of a sudden you're going to have three linebackers out there as opposed to four. You're in the nickel much, as you guys know, the majority. But there still is something to how you're going to draft, how you're going to adjust. And then are you going to change positions or change, get guys to put on some size, lose some size yeah. of what you have currently on your roster? You're young guys. That's, that's why it's important. But here's the other thing. If he doesn't share it, you keep other teams guessing. And now your strength in the draft becomes a little bit more uh, from a position standpoint because teams now don't know, well, are they going to go that way? And if so, are they willing to make a move? What, what's going on? Are they, trading, are they trading back? What's going on? So I get it. Here's Ryan Nielsen talking about what the defense, at least Mike in his mind, what will improve the most with this defense? Uh, every area. I mean, that's, that's your goal as a coach, right? You want to improve every, every area, every player. You know, our, as a coach, you want to help every player achieve their maximum potential. And if we can do that with every player, then, then every area should improve. True. Looks, yeah. <laughs> you, you can't argue with that logic. No. no. Looks the part. Uh, he played defensive tackle at USC, for those who don't know. He so did. He played big-time college football. Didn't play professionally. I mean, it, you know, basically went into coaching. Um, but but looks the part. And I, I just think that once him and Arthur Smith uh, in the interview process, and obviously Terry Fontenot had some familiarity too. I mean, they right. were in the same building for a little bit. But right. I think once they meshed, Mike, they, they kind of got a sense that this is the guy we wanted. I know that we spent a lot of time last week talking about Sean Payton. This was a guy that Sean Payton wanted to take with him. Mm-hmm. So this is a guy that, for what it's worth, whether you think, Sean, we overblow Sean Payton's success in this uh, in this division, but he was a guy Sean would have wanted to take the Denver with him. Yeah. 
Um, when he had, when they asked him about the Falcons, he was like, look, they run the ball. It's the biggest thing. They line up, they get under center, defenses know what they're going to do, and they still can't stop it. He's talking about facing that, right? Right. When he was with the Saints, and then he says, that's the one thing. It's exciting to know. Um, he says, as far as the defense, we're going to play fast, smart, and tough. Obviously, those are phrases we hear all the time. And then he says, mm-hmm. but um, execution is what matters most. And, and he's talking about executing the defense and making plays. I mean, it still comes back down to you got to have players. You got to have players. Kansas City has players. The Eagles have players. That's why they're in the Super Bowl, right? And you could have the best defensive coordinator on the planet. And at the end of the day, you still have to have guys that execute and make plays. Look, you're right. As much as we're talking about Nielsen, this is about Fontenot going and getting those guys. We're spending so much time this week. You're going to see the Chiefs and the Eagles. The Eagles and Howie Roseman is getting all the love because it's deserved. Howie Roseman, despite what Jerry Jones said, I mean, this thing has been a slow burn. He's turned this roster over from five years ago. They've got young studs. They've got one of the deepest defensive lines in football. They got one of the best, off, if not the best, offensive line. And you can't just do that through free agency. You got to draft it. So hopefully, combination of us with a lot of money to spend, Carl, getting that offensive line, that defensive line fixed. But we got to draft the best class possible. This is going to be like sixteen if we want to get because again, we laid it out. This division is there for the taking. It is. We can go right back into playoffs this year, and it's possible to do just what we've seen happen, not only here, but in other places. Later in the week, we'll talk about it. Chiefs Mm. did the same thing this year. They're not in the Super Bowl without all this this rookie class contributing the way they are. 